Well, good, wonderful, beautiful morning, audience. What a day yesterday. Losing power for a few hours. It's uh, been an interesting one. Today, it is back to being windy, but not anything close to as windy as yesterday. So hopefully, hopefully the power stays on all day today. So yesterday, I was so excited. I finally ordered some new furniture. As you guys know, we got this couch new a couple years ago. I, we haven't had it that long, a couple years ago. But these, we've had for forever. We've had that chair since like forever. And that one's even older. They're both really comfortable. We plan on moving them into the basement, but I'm tired of the brown. I mean, nothing matches in my house anyway, but I'm really tired of the brown. I'm tired of seeing it in the background of the videos. I just, it's time for a change. It's time for something new. So I went to two of the local places here and nobody had what I was really looking for. So I got online and I ordered some furniture from one town over, from over in Gaylord. You guys know I've been there before. And it said online that it was in stock. They were gonna charge me $99 for delivery. Not too bad, whatever, to get what I want. Okay, I can deal with that. And they would bring it actually in the house. They texted me this morning, it's out of stock and it'll be back in maybe in August, maybe in August. So I have one more furniture store locally that I can go check. I guess I'm gonna go check, see if they have what I want or anything close to what I want. And if not, I guess we have to wait till August. I didn't know that there was a furniture shortage, but apparently there is. That was Shelby's favorite. I have so many pictures of Shelby and Shiloh sleeping in that chair. There's a part of me that doesn't wanna like get rid of it, but we're not really getting rid of it. We're just gonna move it downstairs so we can have comfortable game night chairs for when we play the Nintendo Switch and stuff, right? What? Oh, we got something else we gotta show them? Yeah? All right, we'll show them. So this company named Neatbot reached out to us to review their grooming vacuum cleaner. Yes, a grooming vacuum cleaner. They sent it to us for free. I will some put some affiliate links for it down below if you guys are interested in it. I haven't actually tried it yet. We're gonna try it right now together and actually test it and see what we, I'm gonna tell you what I honestly think about it. Cause uh, I've done grooming vacuum cleaner things before and they've never worked as well as I wish they would, but this one's interesting. Let me show it to you. Did you just drool all over it? So it's tiny. I don't know how loud it is. I have not plugged it in yet, but it is basically a little vacuum cleaner. And I was just like, hey, hey, no. And it's got all kinds of different, it has a attachment, like if you were to groom your dog and actually cut their fur, which we don't do that, but that's kind of neat because it would suck up, suck up the hair. Here, back up, let me show them the rest of the stuff. It's got like a fake furminator and then one of these, which is like the wire brush. This is the one I think I would actually use, but I guess, uh, I guess we're gonna try it. What do you think? We know that you're shedding, look at, look at this. Look at this. Don't eat it. Don't eat your fluffs. Don't eat your fluffs. This disheveledness, you're disheveled. You're a hot mess, as your dad said. <laughs> so the first test is to see how loud it is. <laughs> well, that's not, that's not too bad. There's definitely some suction there. So that's on low, apparently. Wow, that's actually not very loud at all. What do you think? That's pokey. Look at it, got that hair. Memphis is like, oh no. Can I brush you? Can I do this with the camera? I don't know, hold on. Memphis says, okay, now that I know it's just a brush, you can brush me. This is where she's shedding real bad on her legs here. It's definitely getting some fur. Let's try one of the other ones and see what it does. But that's, it's pulling some fur. So you can see all the fur on there. There's a button on the back. So you just push it. It's hard to do one, there we go. And it sucks all the fur in. Look, there's fur. So this is the more furminator -y style brush. I don't use these a whole lot anymore. But let's see, uh, let's see how it does. Memphis's legs are shedding real bad, so we'll try those first. What do you think? Can I get right here? She's like, oh no guys. What do you think? It's not so bad, huh? huh. And the same thing. Push it and it'll clean it right off. What do you think? She's like, I don't know. Well, 
it definitely works. It's not super, super powerful, which is probably why it's quiet. Memphis doesn't seem to mind it. Kira doesn't really want me to use it. She's like, how about no? But look at, oh, I missed. Look at your fluffiness. Oh, I missed again. Oh, I got some. You're losing all of it. Yeah, so I guess like if you lived in a small place, they would probably work pretty good for you. But I have a blower and I'm gonna take them outside and blow their coats out. Not today, cause it's super windy. I don't think the neighbors would appreciate it. <laughs> but for another solution, yeah, I guess it works pretty good. Well girls, no luck. Even our local store doesn't have everything. He said he might get some more stuff this week, but I think we're stuck with this for a while. <sighs> Figures, I finally decided to upgrade it, and there's a furniture shortage. It's time to make some dinner. You guys will notice Kira's actually in here. I've learned she really does not seem to care about the Instant Pot. So I'm making garlic bread. I'm not the Instant Pot, the air fryer. It's made by the same people as my Instant Pot. So I'm gonna make my garlic bread in here as to not freak her out. Sure. Now she takes off. Are you looking for cheese? Yeah, mom gave us cheese. It was great. Do you know you're the best kitchen helper ever? Are you watching noodles boil on the stove? She's like, guys, something might happen. Something might fall out of there and I could eat it. Um, it might happen. It could, maybe. Maybe it'll happen. I will just wait here and, and wait for it to happen. <laughs> yeah? Yeah? Are you happy? Do you want a noodle? They're too hot. You gotta wait. You gotta wait! They're too hot! Alright, they're done now. Look out, here. Let me give one to Memphis for- Ah, ah you gotta wait! Sit! Ready? Noodle! Good catch. Alright, Kira's turn. Sit. <laughs> You're gonna get one. Ready? You gotta sit. Sit. Ready for the noodle? Noodle! Oh, you missed it! One more noodle. Sit. Sit on your butt! Like, you don't know how to do that. Noodle! You got- that one. Noodle! <laughs> She's like, see, it was worth the wait. It's 68 degrees outside. Do you want to go for a walk? I think that's a yes. So much like the harness. Okay, I'm gonna put your collar on. Oh, you're not gonna run? Are you gonna chew on it? I'm gonna put it on, okay? Okay, look, you're doing so good. I'll put it on you. You can't go without this. So she runs less with the collar, but she's still like, Maybe I don't want to. <laughs> uh, you can't go for a walk without your collar. Sorry, we gotta put it on, okay? All right, all right, I'm gonna take these girls for a walk. How was that? That was like two miles. Was that good enough, huh? It's warm out there. Way warmer out there than we thought, even though it's 7.30 at night. All right, 15 minute cool down period, then you can have your dinner. What are you doing? So I just let the dogs out. Okay, it's like 9.45. I was watching the antics. I just let the dogs out. You want to go to bed at 9.45? We don't normally go to bed till midnight. If I open the door, you're going to go in there, aren't you? I'm not going in there, but... All right, well, I guess the girls are going to go to bed by themselves. <laughs> so let me preface this. I'm in here watching Dantix, youtube.com slash rfsdan. If you guys don't know my friend Dan and Crystal, this is their one of their shows that they do weekly. And, uh... This little girl over here looks pretty innocent, doesn't she? She got to go for like a two mile walk today. We played with a bunch of fun toys today. You'd think she would be happy. Kira, look at me. Kira, she's like, I'm not looking at you. I know you're mad. You wanna show everybody what you did? Come on, let's, let's take them in the living room and show everybody what you did. What you did. You did it. You're guilty, you're guilty, you're guilty dog. All right, let's go show them what you did. You wanna show them? So you guys have probably, yeah, she's like, nope, I'm out. You guys have probably seen this in my living room. Normally it sits in this corner right here, but I had it in that corner over there because I filmed a video on Friday. This has been in the living room for forever and Kira hasn't touched it. Would you like to show everybody what you did? I think, uh, I think it's missing an end. Did you do this? Did you do that? Hey, look at me when I'm talking to you. Did you eat this? Did you eat? My ring light plug? Huh? Did you? Did you eat that? Bad dog. Oh, bad dog. <laughs> Why did you, of all the things? Why? Why did you chew on that? We're gonna have to see if Dad can fix it. It's a good thing I have three of these, but apparently now I'm down one. This was one of the new ones, too, that I got for Christmas from Santa Paws. You! You guilty. Guilty! She's like, Mom, 
I was just bored. You're always bored. What? Now you're gonna come in here and act all cute and lay down on the bed? Play with your own toys? Guilty dog. That's what you are. Yeah, you! You did it. You're bad. <laughs> All right, you guys, we are going to go ahead and get ready for bed. As always, we hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big. And we will see you again soon. Memphis, are you CP? The blanket's falling down on you. You're Eventually, you're going to be covered in blanket. Is that okay? She's like, I don't mind. I would take the blanket. Uh, good night, audience.